What's up guys, this is Brandon and today I'm gonna show you what's in my car. Fair warning, I'm a very dirty person and I tend to live out of my car, so I have no idea what's inside. I decided to keep it dirty, so we'll see what happens. It is a 2007 Mazda 3 V4, a lot of power, you know, 163 horses. Modifications, I did myself, uh, I changed the, HI changed the HIDs. I replaced the front grill. I was a gift from my friends with an open mouth grill. And I also spray painted the rims and the badges. All when I was like 17, I really, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make this car the coolest looking car ever. Uh, it still looks pretty cool, I guess, to me. But uh, let me tell you guys how I got my car first. I got it when I was 17. Uh, I was blessed enough to have my parents get it for me. Uh, I wanted a used car, but they actually decided to get me a brand new car. But the, the catch was I had to drive this throughout, finish out my college career with, a uh, high school career with it, drive it through college and drive it after college as well. Basically saying the car after this is gonna be uh, a car I have to buy on my own, my own money. So I've had this for eight years now. I've gone through a lot of memories with it. It's my baby. Uh, I, have, I don't take care of it as much anymore. It's more of a daily driver now. All right, MTV Cribs, let's see what's... <laughs> All right, guys, let's check out what's in my car now. I'm scared. All right, guys, so we're in my car now. Um, I always liked in here in my car. It's very simple. I like dark colors. And um, also my interior lights, if you can catch it. It's red. I like how it's red and has blue accents. It's really cool. What else is in here? This guy. A lot of people ask about this guy. I call him Booger. It's my driving companion. Uh, my high, uh, One of my high school crushes actually gave this to me. She made it in forgot what class, but it's gone through a lot of damage, you could tell. The eyes actually are supposed to be white with a little black eyeball rolling around. See if I shake it, you can hear it. But all that sun damage actually turned them like completely white and the eyeballs are completely darkened out. Like if you want to see the original color, I'll turn to the back right now. Boom. This was the original color, that's why I call him Booger because he's green. But if you switch it to the right, this is just he just got way too big of a tan and got pale. Yeah, story booger. He's been here since I got the car pretty much. So he's been sitting in my car for about eight years. Crazy. Next, I have a pile of coins from all the change I get when I go out and buy stuff. My parents hate it. My dad says he knows people that, you know, uh, got their car broken into because they keep their coins in there. But for me, it's just a, it's like a bunch of pennies, a quarter, or maybe like a dime. If somebody really wants to break into my car and take that, they they definitely need that more money more than me. So, yeah, they could they could break it in and get it for if they want. <laughs> and here is oh Jesus, the glove compartment. I'm just gonna take a handful out. It's probably yeah, it's a bunch of receipts like small check. Uh, I have directions here going somewhere. Yeah, this is a bunch of like oil change, smog check, anything that like tire change things that I keep in uh, just in case like uh, registration calls and says like, hey, you didn't do a smog check. Yes, I did. It's here somewhere. Bunch of envelopes, paychecks, insurance, very important. Ooh. Kendrick Lamar, good kid, Mad City, signed. What else I have? A toothbrush. Hey, two $25 gift cards. I've probably used them already. I'm probably gonna throw this away. But this is, by the way, probably me cleaning my car while we do this video live. Eye drops for my allergies, but there's no eye drop in it. I don't know, see, I keep trash in my car. I'm a dirty person. This USB thing, I don't even, it's a, I don't even know what it is. That's what's doing in my car. Lightning to VGA adapter. I don't know why it's in my car. Hey, my college parking permit. I didn't even know this was in here, cool. What the hell is this? I'm just gonna shove everything back inside. Oh wait, cool thing about my glove compartment, people think it looks small, but you can actually stick like your whole arm in there. So that's why I stuff so much shit in here. It's a good and bad thing. It's bad because I'm who I am, but it's good for people who are clean and organized. Which is not me. Yeah, who remembers this guy? This is an iPod video. 
Remember when iPods first had videos? Now everybody has video. And this is like game changer. In high school, uh, I used to put movies on this and watch it in class. And I thought I was the coolest kid ever. And more change. And you know, I always have good luck with me. Um, there's money in here. Never opened it. I just keep it in my car because kind of like a good luck charm. So the back, I've never checked the back because I never sit in the back. I have my weightlifting belt because I never take it out of my car because there's not really a point to. Also, my backpack. Also keep a lot of my gym stuff. My chucks for the gym, my thermos for my coffee. And I put laptop in here whenever I have to go somewhere with it. So this is always in my car usually. Straw wrapper. And throw that out. Let's see what's in here. Wow. Trash that people leave in my car. This is an unopened bottle of water. And this is a half drink bottle. See? I don't trash my car. Other people do. Whoa. Yeah, uh, no comment. All right, guys. So this is the trunk. I'm notorious for stuffing my trunk with stupid random stuff because usually what happens is I have a bunch of stuff in the back seat and then people have to sit in the back seat so I take everything in the back seat and put it in my trunk. Hey, it's my playoff ticket! Whoa! Go figure! I should probably frame this or put this in... I'll put it right now actually. Back where it belongs. I don't know whose this is. It's a scratcher ticket. Ronan's cage! That probably doesn't fit him anymore. So I'm gonna take it out. <sighs> if you notice up, they're like button ups slash dress shirts. <laughs> really wrinkled now. But uh, they're on my work clothes when I was working at a restaurant when I had to be a host, so I had to be presentable. A pair of jeans, probably my work jeans. Yeah, they're definitely all broken up with, yeah. Work jeans from when I was a waiter. A shoe box with no shoes in it. Shoes. <laughs> With no shoe box, this is actually the Supreme Camel Air Force Ones. I actually don't know what the hell all these shoes are doing in my car. So let's just take them all out now. Another apron. More work clothes. Hey! Oh, okay, never mind. No, I thought I had headphones in here. I don't know whose headphones these are, so if you guys remember, if you left your headphones here, uh, let me know because these are yours. More shoes. These look really clean. God, I'm, I should be really more be more responsible with my shoes. I have a goddamn spoon in my truck. What the hell? It looks dirty. Somebody must have used. I did. I would not bring a spoon in my car. Okay. A pack of big dog wet pads. If you guys don't know what these are, you put these on the floor to train your dogs to pee and poop if they have to. Um, luckily, Ronan is potty trained now, so I don't need these anymore. A bag of zippy ties and screws. Giant Ziploc bag full of nothing. That's it guys, that was my car. I don't think you guys liked it, because it was pretty gross to be honest, but it's who I am I guess. Um, my car's been through a lot of stuff and I should take care of it more. The only thing I do take care of is make sure you keep your maintenance like that I have to take care of, like alignment, oil change, all that stuff, I've kept that on point. But when it comes to keeping it clean and uh, presentable, I guess, I don't really care anymore. Uh, as long as it gets me to point A to point B. But yeah, I love this guy. Girl. Car. Peace. Jake, tell it's JK. <laughs> I know I have a feeling it's Bart too. I have a feeling it's Bart. What do you guys all have feelings? In the last round, Bart was like, <laughs> yeah. I killed Gio or Joe? Yup, it looked good.